Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur featherweight contest scheduled over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He has a record of three wins, one defeat. He represents the Ruth's team. Ladies and gentlemen, no pass! And the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He has a record of seven wins, five defeats. He represents the Northwest Flight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Chester! Our referee is Mr. Paul Crossley. Featherweight bout, Jordan Chester, always a local favorite, always a big smile on his face in the red corner, black shorts, taking on no Paz in the blue corner in the black and white striped shorts. I mean, Paz, extremely tall guy for this weight, really long ranger guy. Up against Chester and the crowd, as usual, when what? Chester's in the UKFC cage. Yeah, absolutely, he's, uh, he's one of the old guard here at the UKFC. He won't thank me for aging him like that. Oh, solid right there for Paz. Yeah, taken well by Chester. Yeah, he's going to take some work to get inside that reach. As I say, you know, really tall guy, snapping the straight shots and the front kicks. Chester's probably going to try and use head movement and uh, close the distance on him. So I had to fight a guy who, who's that tall who knows how to use it. Yeah, right now, it does seem that Nopat is very comfortable working behind that long straight jab. Yeah, it's the inside low kick straight up the middle there. Just first one, Paz sort of shook off, that nose but shook off, and that one, I think, is sliding again. Just one of those it, inside low kicks. The uh, trajectory does go up, especially when you've got a southpaw. Chester still. Looking for that way inside. Yeah, does it behind the double right hand. <laughs> Left hand, sorry, is a southpaw. Wow, when he throws that high kick, he can throw it from like last week. Just uh, it's, you know, doing a good job of taking his time. He's, he doesn't want to rush into anything just because he's against a taller guy and walk into, uh, walk into a shot. Wow, that we saw, yeah, we saw him. that a little bit earlier tonight, didn't we? Just kind of bull rushed in, ate the shot, and the fight. Comes in, double tap no, with nice. his rear left. Starting to take some of the cage away. Ah. Catches the leg now, yeah. under the, got the hands clasped, step behind, he's under the hips, and he drops his man down. Is he gonna end up in half? He ends up in the half guard, heavy. Great job there, because pass through a hard kick. Chester did a great job of timing it, driving him to the fence, finishing him with that uh, leg trip takedown. Pazzo, you know, worked real well to get that full guard back. And again, you're going to imagine with that range and that length, you might be looking for triangles, arm yeah. bars. Yeah, the long, lanky guys on the bottom would tend to be throwing things up like that. Trying to, at the moment, tying Chester up, trying to create an angle. He's trying to bring that guard up high. Yeah, Chester doing a good job of keeping the hips square, not allowing uh, Paz to change the angle on the bottom, which sets up a lot of his submissions. So keeping his hips square. Maybe Getting looking for his op yeah. Yeah. opportunity to open up. There is the angle coming. But Chester squares him back. He's got to not get that left arm stuffed. Paz really wanted that triangle yeah, he there. he was looking, working hard, but Chester wise to it at the moment. Yeah, doing the right job, trying to get that left arm across his head to pin him down there. Is that the, was that the 10 second? <laughs> yeah, it's gone, hasn't it? Gone Woo! Forgive me, I probably should have known that. It just seemed to come very, very quickly. I was finishing with a couple of the old hoist heel strikes yep. to the kidney. They, have got, well, they got removed, didn't they, from the rules a few years ago. That like kind of one of the most pointless rules anyway. But yeah, I mean, first round there, three minutes seemed to go really quickly. Spent a lot of it with uh, on the feet with um, Chester on the end of Paz's range, but... He did manage to dart in with his backhand a couple of times and then got in for the takedowns. Just a close one. Sorry, I was I, I promise you I was paying attention, but I'm just looking at Jordan Chester on the stool and Yeah, he looks comfortable now you mention it. it. Yeah, didn't look comfortable at all. I don't know what they're looking at. I don't know what they're his shoulder. It looks to definitely be uh, an injury there. He's definitely a lot comfortable sat on his stool. I think it could be a shoulder. Yeah, I or think this could be. No. He's gonna go for it. 
I hope Paz wasn't watching. Well, <laughs> let's say, yeah, he just didn't look, he didn't look comfortable in the corner. I, I missed it in the, in the first round. I'm not sure what, we'll see if this has an effect on how Chester chooses to approach this. Yeah, with his corners um, sort of blocking the view, it's hard to see what they were referencing, but definitely something there. But if he can keep a good poker face and uh, crack on regardless. I got to be honest, even if he didn't think he could crack on regardless, I think Jordan Chester would probably climb into the cage anyway. If it's not hanging off or, yeah. or removed, he's going to go. And you wouldn't tell now, look at him, you know, he looks to be uh, moving well. Has staying up that lead leg switch kick. And again, he, he manages to back paws up in underneath the hips again. Yeah, coming in behind the punches, waiting for his opportunity. And he's going to muscle him down. up. Oh, well, they placed him down quite nice, actually. Yeah, I thought <laughs> they were going to slam. Nope, just going to pop you down, but side control, so. Yeah, he might be looking for that von flu there because Paz is. Um, Kept hold of the neck too long. Big shoulder pressure from Chester. Looking for that Von Flew choke. Oh, he's trying to stay heavy. And he's trying to, I think it was dropping lower there. He goes to mount instead. Great position for Chester. Loads of time in the yeah. round. Got past his head stuck up against the fence. That's where he wants, wants to keep him because, again, Paz can just turn a little bit, get those the flats of the feet up against the cage. Yeah, he's a bit where he's had a couple of warnings off the referee from sticking his toes, toes in, in trying to now. climb, so that might make him a bit more reluctant to um, try that wall walk. Yeah, dominant position right now for Chester, full yeah. mount. And he's doing a good job of, when he tries to get square to the fence to wall walk, taking his head back. He's getting really high up there now. Could do a good job if he pulled him away from the fence and yeah. took him completely away. Wait, yeah. It'd be a good spot for him. He maintains the mount despite Paz uh, managing to raise his hips a little bit. Chester's trying to isolate an arm potentially. Yeah, looking for the head and arm triangle maybe. Goes to the body to get a reaction. Walking it up, it's coming. Yep. It's behind the elbow. Oh, is he going to? Uh, he sinks off, he drops oh, away. Oh, he's putting he a lot it. of pressure in there. Paz trying to roll backwards over that shoulder. I, just don't, I think it's on the chin as opposed to under, clean under the neck. And uh, Chester recognises it that and goes back to the mount. Straight back to mount and locks it up as well. And uh, a lot stronger here in round yeah, two from Chester. Yeah, much better round for Chester. It's, it's, it, what, to be fair, what 80% of the round has been Chester and he's going to chip away to see the end of it. Yeah, landed a couple of good left hands there. And perhaps Chester, Jordan Chester has seen the, the path to victory here. Yeah, definitely seen um, you know, the weak link in the chain, I think, on the ground there for uh, Paz. And, uh, you know, after saying this, there was some grimacing and pain in between the corner. I was a stronger round than the first. And the first, I don't know which way that went. That was a close round. Chester could have nicked it, Paz could have nicked it. I'm not sure, but second round, definitely. Uh, Anything but a draw, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And if it won in the books for Chester. Wow, three minutes left to separate. And again, these rounds have just flown by. And just had a couple of good attacks there where he was just marginally off with the arm triangle, but recognized it, got back to a dominant position, rather than wait for, uh, rather than fail on it and have his opponent escape. So showing that uh, the veteran savvy that he has. Paz dying for a hug. Well, Paul Crossley separates him. We've had a hug. We're going to get a handshake too. And now we're going to get the third round. Paz here, enemy territory. you got to think, in his mind, he's thinking, I've got to try and secure Whoa. this with something strong. And he wraps that right kick to the body. No, you can see Chester's yeah, midsection is immediately marked up. That. Looks Whoa. for one of his own. Paz looks for top position off the court kick. Oh! Jordan thinks he's got the guillotine, but he's going to sweep with it. Nice work. Oh, he thinks he has it. He's got the arm in guillotine. He's pulled guard for it. Paz oh, yeah, can't it escape tight. that side. Is he going to follow him to the mount? 
Might switch to the Das. Paz trying to sail at single leg if Chester can sprawl out. And oh, but he goes on the through. guillotine again. I think he fancies this. Oh, he's got no arm in this time. Hey, elbow. Looks tight. There's and there's the tap. the tap. Jordan Chester in the third round. And again, a game, game opponent. A dangerous opponent. Good Absolutely. work from Jordan and Chester. Uh, Chester moved through the gears. Really great performance from there. Showed his maturity, showed his experience. And if you look at him now, I think it might be the right shoulder there, but he's, uh, he got his way through the pain to get a third round finish. All oh, credit to him. Absolutely he did. What a performance for the Northwest Fight Academy man, Jordan Chester. And again, a strong showing from no pass from the race team. Great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at one minute of the third round. For your winner by submission due to guillotine choke, in the red corner, Jordan Chester! And again, a round of applause for a game opponent, please. No pause.